All right, here we go. Another edition of the Horseman Pro Football Talk podcast. I'm Brad. And I'm Hefe. All right. So the Ravens at the Browns, this is going to be interesting. As of right now, it doesn't look like Jackson is going to be ready to play. They squeaked one out against the Steelers, which the Steelers are just terrible. Not that the Browns are doing much better. But, you know, remember last year, Baltimore was kind of in the in the pilot seat. And then Jackson got hurt. And then they went on a skid. And Baltimore's uh, the Ravens aren't as good this year, in my opinion, as they were last year. And uh, Jackson's going to be out another game. You got Tyler Huntley's out, and now you got some guy named Anthony Brown coming in. They 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 got to be they better be grateful <laughs> grateful it's the Browns, even though it's an inter division game. I don't know is that better? I mean, from the Ravens' perspective, probably better because weird things happen in division games. But even with you know a quarterback nobody has tape on, can't feel great about it. Yeah. Fortunately for the Ravens, uh, they've got they've got the Browns, they got the Browns, then the Falcons, then the Steelers again. So, which with the Steelers, it may or may not be good. I don't know. You know, uh, they may split. Uh, then they got the Bengals, and uh, I just don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't have a whole lot of faith in, in what the Ravens are doing overall. What do you think? So, my opinion is a lot like yours. What the Ravens are without Lamar this year is not what it's been in past years. You know, that defense isn't as solid as we're used to seeing it. And the offense, they obviously, they just don't have the pieces around them. Now, they're still able to run the ball. J.K. Dobbins coming back had a huge effect for that team, and I think that's going to matter. Like, that's what, especially people in the fantasy football world, we've been waiting for that all season long, is for J.K. Dobbins to come back in the lineup. He finished with 15 carries for 120 yards and a touchdown. Gus Edwards added 13 carries for 66 yards. So the Ravens did what the Ravens do, right? But again, that defense isn't what it normally is. And going against the Browns, the only reason I think that matters is because Nick Chubb is that guy. And Deshaun Watson, like, we remember what Deshaun Watson used to be. And right now, like, the way I think of Deshaun Watson is like, me, I haven't gone to to play a pickup basketball game in probably seven, eight years. And if I went to go play right now, like I could remember what I'm supposed to do. I wouldn't be great at it. So Deshaun Watson is, is almost like a rookie, right? Like getting used to the speed of the game. There were a couple of things, a couple of replays that they showed during the game where like on, on his interception in that game, there was a wide open receiver. I mean, he and he was wide open for like three seconds, and Deshaun just got to that read too late. By the time he got there, the safety was already breaking on it, and he intercepted the pass. So things like that, Deshaun usually would would figure that out, and he'll get better with that. And and so I think that will continue to get better against this Ravens team. Ultimately, I think the Ravens are going to lose this game. It's going to be a dog fight, though. You know, I'd like to think that the Ravens could win this game and and keep themselves in the hunt for the, the division this year because, you know, I've always had my soft spot for the Ravens. But unfortunately for them, I just think uh, without Lamar, they just don't have the juice to beat this Browns team. Yeah, and talking about Deshaun Watson, it's not a matter of if but when he readjusts to the speed of the game. And it, it, could, take him, it could take him the rest of this season. And then, you know, to get prepared, his mind ready and prepared in the offseason and come back next season. Or he could suddenly break out of it in the middle of the second quarter this week and change and change everything. And we just don't know what's going to happen. But I, I'm with you. that I mean, the Browns are at home, Chubb and Watson and the Ravens being I just don't see it. I think the Ravens I think the Ravens are in a lot of trouble, to be honest. And I think this might be the first step of spiraling uh, at least a couple games, uh, losing a couple games they can't afford to lose. Yeah, I mean, fortunately for them, they have a little wiggle room because Lamar was able to carry him to so many wins while he was there. You know, they can let him sit a game or two more. And even if they lose these next couple, you know, Bengals have basically taken control of that division anyway. So yeah. so they're, they're just looking to get into the wild card. So, uh, you know, I think they're still in a good position for that. Lamar with a high ankle, high ankle sprain should be back in, you know, two, three weeks and can carry them into the playoffs, you know, but either way, you know, I don't, I don't know if they're a Super Bowl contender either way. Yeah. And 
we just talked about earlier, uh, you know, with this, there the Ravens are at nine and four, and they're at the top of the division. But the Bengals are getting hot. Bengals are at nine and four. They they've got a game left. I don't think the Ravens can hang on to this. And being at nine and four, you've got a lot of teams sitting right behind you. I mean, the Jets are seven and six. The Patriots are six and six. They've, they've got another game to make up. I mean, the Ravens aren't safe in this playoff picture. They've got a decent. They've got a decent. The 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 odds are good for them if they don't. I mean, if they blow all the rest of the games. They, they're in a lot of trouble. But they might. I mean, that's that's the conversation we're having. They could they could lose out now. Jackson will probably come back, and I and I don't know that'll happen. But you know what? Five games left, and uh, the Bengals the last one, which I, you know you expect the Bengals to come in and take care of business on that last one. So you got four games. Um, they might go two and three, and really jeopardize their playoff spot. So this is a big game for the Ravens, I think, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. And I would love to know what you think about this game, what you think is going to happen, who you think is going to win. You let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you for the next video.